All right, so part two to what I was saying. I want to get finished. So you want to build, you want to place your attention, get your get your jar, get your attention, and then drop your content. So. Your content should be something of the following. And let me pull this back up. Still can't flip this thing around. Personal items. A photograph. Hair. Which I got a piece of my hair already. Nail clippings. Blood. Yes, you can use your minuscule blood. Or if you're a man, just, you know, print your finger, put on a piece of cotton cloth, gap, something like that. Or other personal items to sac to crucial that is crucial to your spell. You know, you can use your sperm if you're looking to make a baby. You want to make a baby jar. If you're looking to make a baby. You and that woman having a hard time making a child, you can make your baby jar. You and her combine your sperms together, get a piece of your hair, put a baby name, if you want a boy, girl, whatever. Uh, then you can get something that relates to the stars. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm, yeah, you can get creative. So, so once you get the personal items and place them in a the jar, then you want to write your attention. Like I was saying, want you write your attention. Then your liquids. Generally, the bottle should contain some liquid, but with liquids, you should depend on. It should depend on your attention. So with liquids, you want to put. You want to have four elements. You want to have earth, water, fire, and air, which is air is all over the place. But the air is your words. So basically, put a little bit of dirt, then put some little bit of that liquid that could be your urine. Yes, your urine is a excellent conductor of energy. Vinegar is used to curse or harm others or spoil something. As far as urine, urine is used for protection jars and jars to break a curse, but can also be used for manipulative spells over others. You know, urine is your sacred energy. Honey, something sweet, sugar, nectar, some type of nectar, something that, you know, some natural elements, cinnamon, that type of stuff, is used. When you want to compel something or someone or something. This is because if you are seeking to make friends to be more persuasive or to soothe others. Or to soothe over to soothe over hurt feelings. You want to sweeten their disposition. So you want to make a honey sweet jar. A lemon jar. Lemon jar mainly like you know throwing lemonade. It's like you want to be bitter, so you can make you a bitter jar if you want to be bitter towards somebody. That could be that too. Put a picture of that man who you want to be bitter towards. Ammonia is used for cleansing. Safety note: Never burn candles near ammonia. It can't be explosive. So you know, of course, use your brain. When you're using any type of gas or anything, 
you know. But ammonia can be can be can be a very good gas chemical to banish negativity or male violent entities or when you wish to start a new with a clean state because ammonia it used to clean things it's like you know rubbing alcohol that type of thing but tinctures infusion oils of course liquor you can use those for example like wines and spirits is always a thing. Naturally, you should choose something based on your intentions. A money spell might include a tincture, infusion, or oil made from money drawing herbs like cinnamon or mints. So, water can be used, but uh, but that person. But the person who's writing this really don't recommend plain water. At the very least, you should make a herbal infusion of water. Which is, of course, a good thing to do. It doesn't really get into... This This article really don't get into what type of herbs. But it just mainly gives you the, the basic. The base. Fundamentals. Now, what crystals and herbs are useful spells? Your, here we go. Hell, I may even make a copy and paste of this. This full list. It's a nice little list of herbs to use. Let me see if I can. And I'm gonna go ahead and show this off. this on my Facebook let's see how I can let me see what it shows up as since I'm talking about money jars yeah cool cool what crystals and herbs to use no this is not a comprehensive list but should but there should be plenty of suggestions to get you going so, if you want some good tint for your tent, okay, banishing. Here, here we go. So, your attentions. So, you want to do something for banishing. So, banishing. You want to use these type of crystals. You can put this in your jar. Obsidian, jet, black, tourmaline. Smoky quartz. Then you want to put some herbs such as clove, dragon blood, garlic, hot pepper. And then you want to put a piece of yourself, like your hair, fingernails, whatever. You want to put something about yourself in that jar. I always prefer the hair. Which is another thing too. When you go to these, when you go get your hair cut, there are some people that suggest that they get their hair back. People may think that's weird, but people that knows that you can use people's hair for frequencies, they understand that it's not that crazy at all when you ask for your hair back. Cause you can do you can do some nice things with your hair. All right, so for communication for the help with communicating. Sorry, for help with communication. All right, phone should be charged now. Yeah, let me take it off the charger. So I can set it up. Well, all right, cool. So for communication, you have so sodalite, sodalite, 
tiger eye turquoise. Then you can place mint or its root inside of your jar. Which is pretty nice. We got a uh, other things too. Which let me see here. Some people with copper around coins. You can do that too. You mean you can get creative. Place copper around coins to put a crystal quartz inside the jar and power and power. Matter of fact, that's a very good idea. Hmm. That's a very good idea. Place some crystal quartz, some candy, something sweet. For your health, you got uh, intelligent intellect. You have avaturian and fluorite crystals, and then you want to use some type of herbs. Such as rosemary, nutmeg, nutmeg, benzoin, detaini of Kriti. We got love jar, money jar, which I was talking about here. So for your money jar. Let's get down to the money jar. So for the money jar, you want to use gold, malasit, moss, agati, pearls. You want to use something shiny that represents money like if you are a pirate what do you want to find in your in your booty what would you want to find inside of that inside of the chest you find just think of it like that then for herbs you want to put cinnamon something sweet ginger Ginger is very good. I have ginger roots down here. Ginger. Natural sweetness. It's good for you. It's good for your and it's good for your digestive, your health, your immune system. It's a it's a very good art. Orange. The C, the vitamin C. C for coins. The vitamin coins. You got uh, patchouli and vervin, which I need to look those two up. But I had all these different herbs. I need to buy. I need to buy a whole new herb pack of different herbs. Now all of this can be used for examples of how to make a money jar. You can do all this stuff. You can have fun with it. Have fun with it. Make it your own. You don't necessarily have to do it exactly. 
this way. But do something, make it your own. Place your own attention. Remember, this is your attentions. No one else. It's your own creation. All right? So this is part two of my jars, money jars, or just spell jars in general. Uh, you got more types of things, relationships, psychic abilities. I have this right here full of, full of crystals meant for psychic ability. If I want to make me a jar, the only thing I need to do now is give me some dirt. Because I always like dirt. Dirt and water is, you know, like how the Bible would say, man is made from dirt and water. And from the stardust, which is the crystals. And then the air is what, you, once you once you set everything inside the jar, you want to look inside of it and speak life into it. And that's your breath of air. I'm not going to open this up because I need to clean this out. I don't know how this is smelling right now. But, yeah. So, uh, this is my part two. I'm going to plug part two inside of my Facebook post. And then carry this over so you can watch part one and part two together. I'm thirsty, man. Mm. Thursday, and my lips are still dry. I'm always conscious, super aware of that. I'd be like, my lips look dry. My lips look dry. I'm gonna be looking, making these videos. I just be thirsty. Mm. But yeah, so I'll be making my money jar in here. I'm gonna clean that real good. That's my week project. I'm going to make it gonna be a, a project of mine this week. And I will show you my results. Once I'm done. It's probably going to be done before this week goes over. I'm going to go back to the store. I need to buy me some crystals. And <clears throat> I did not think about it. I went to the I went to the crystal store. Did not think about buying me any at that time, but uh, Monday should be having my well making this video Sunday, January the fourth, the third, the fourth. We we'll should have some type of stimulus money drop in, and that'll be my little crystal money. I'll buy me some crystals and some things to, to make for myself here. All right, so I'm gonna show you my money jar once I'm done, and show you how I created it. So this should be fun, and then that'll be my first jar I'll make. Then I'm gonna make me another jar after that. So, and yeah, there's other things too I want to try to do as well. Try to get into making me like little small dolls. Not, not, now, I know people probably like, whoa, beauty doll. No. Um, it's more, mainly for healing. Like, for healing. Your heart, your chakras, and your body. Connected to yourself. Healing your chakras and your body. This mainly is for, it's for healing. Voodoo dolls are meant for healing. Not no craziness you see on movies. So, yeah. I'm going to connect this to my Facebook post. If you are on my Facebook page, hey, how you doing? Share my videos. I got a laundry list of videos on here. And it made them. All, all my videos have really chilled. Nothing nothing too high, high mighty. I've talked to you like I'm talking to you if you were right in front of me as, you, as we're chilling. So, you know, I like to just have my, like a mellow, mellow type of style. Of teaching. Oh, okay. Alright, y'all. Peace and love. Country, bro. I'm out.